All right, welcome. Today I'm in Cairo, Egypt, a little bit north of Cairo, Egypt, and I'm at a vermicompost farm. So this is the same farm that does the mushroom operation that I have another video on. And they also do plenty of other uh, crops out in the field. They do oranges, they do moringa, um, but this is the vermicompost setup. So they are able to produce tons of vermicompost every year. And you can see this is just some of the finished compost that they have. This is all sifted ready to be bagged and there, there looks like they actually have some bags back there for bagging it they sell this commercially and it's about i'd say about an acre total of of vermicomposting that's going on here so let me pan around and all the way to that that brown mound in the background is all vermicompost beds so the the process will start over here they will sift the um the dung out and they start with a coarse sifter and they move it over to a, oh, they start with a coarse sifter and that makes what they call the feed. And then they move it over to the beds and the beds are just these. And then once the, the vermicompost is ready, they will dry it out over here. And as it dries out, they'll pick out all the worms. And then as the worms, as the worms uh, vacate the the uh, the vermicompost, they'll start sifting it again for a second time. So then it'll come back over to here again after it's been dried, and they will sift it through the fine mesh. And what doesn't get broken down will get broken down by the blender. So I'll go ahead and go through step by step, and you guys can see all the steps of the process. So this is the beautiful raw ingredient for the vermicompost. It is horse, camel, and cow dung. And then they'll take this and process it and get it to turn into beautiful, rich, organic worm castings. بص يا استاذ خالد شايف كده على ال... على الوش هتلاقيه متحبب كده كبير ده البراز بتاع الدود نفسه بص so على the... البر على الوش هتلاقي حاجه حبوبات وبيبات كده كبيره so he has there's plastic underneath here and that helps with keeping the, the worms in the soil that's his uh, containment that and the bricks وريهم بقى الدود ده wow and the bit and the and the like the grainy pieces on the top yeah that is actually the casting itself that's the actual okay work. yeah this stuff that's finished yeah that's the finished castings focus that's an egg okay let me see if i can get it in focus yeah i can see it Cool, that little, the little brown guy right there. Cool. It's very, very simple how it's just plastic with bricks. And then... And it's you know, a large scale, huge scale. You know, like most people do it in totes, in, in bins. Can you see those brown grains? Mm -hmm. Oh, this, <laughs> this stuff right here? Yeah, that... yeah, that grainy stuff. Because when it's added, it's normally added really like a powder. Yeah. So, uh -huh. so when it makes those grains, that means it's been processed. Ah, uh, and then there's drip, just drip lines and misting overhead. Is there a time that you use one and not the other? Or does, do both of them work? During summer they use the ones on top so, okay. so they can also increase humidity. Okay. During winter like now they just use the drips. Yeah, look at those worms. Those are happy worms. Do you sell the worms too? So the worms are sold to other farms that want to start doing their own verm. Other vermicomposters, yeah. okay. 
And are you one of the first people in this region to do this? تعتبر نفسك من الاوائل او الرواد في المجال ده؟ اه طبعا. يا. يا فور شور. واو. وجود الاذ. And same is applicable to the silk. Yeah. Awesome. Very impressive. دي نظام ثاني تغطية. This is another like methodology. Okay. هو هو نوع الدود بس ايه؟ نظام ثاني. Same worm but yeah, the rod. But these are covered in. Just hay. In rice. Rice straw. Okay. Just simpler, cheaper than the, the fancy, slightly fancier uh, covers they have in the other ones. And it works just as good, right? Just... Oh, oh. oh, wow. This is, and this is much deeper. This is almost eight inches deep. Yeah, this is twice as high. Yeah. Awesome. Very cool. So this here is the finished compost, vermicompost. You can see that it's sifted and they use the fine uh, grate. And this is ready for bagging. Really nice um, texture, fluffy, organic. You really can't beat that when it comes to your fertilizer. Your choices of fertilizer is probably one of the most nutritionist, nutritional fertilizers. Um, and all the inputs were organic. So what you get is an organic fertilizer. And then what is this over here? This is so this is what comes out of those beds. Okay. This is fresh out of the bed and then it needs to be sifted and then it becomes that when it's all done and sifted. Okay. And then he lets it dry out a bit so he can process it on the vibrating. It's bed. easier to screen when it's yeah. uh it's dry. Okay. Cool. And then this is something else. Uh, this is a place for the worms that are still alive mm -hmm. to escape. The okay. Going to the machine because the machine will kill them. Ah, as it's drying out. Okay. So as yeah, it's, it's, 